WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoot filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is, of course, the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a fantastic day. If you missed the show last hour, go ahead and go to TigerFinancialNewsNetwork.com. We had Elliot Wellenbach, who's a senior VP and institutional ETF strategist for Direction On. Very, very great guest. And we also had Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle on. And of course, being on YouTube, we serve the algorithm. So please go ahead and give those videos a thumbs up and give our channel a subscribe. It helps us out immensely. Let's take a look at what we got going on at the end of the day here. You have the composite up about 0.28%. You have the Dow Jones Industrial up about 0.79%. You get that dollar again on that counter trend bounce to the upside at 103.56. Uh, let's see here. You have the E-mini up about 0.28%. 3.8% as well. You have crude contract coming pretty down here, 0.11, up from the high there, at least in the short term of 78, roughly 33, all the way down right now to 70.51. Again, like what we were talking about yesterday, you had a lot of producers buying futures right at that high level, about $78. That can kind of suggest uh, potentially some longer term uh, bearish movements for the price of crude oil in general. Let's see what we have in gold, up about 0.46%, trading right under that high of 2,708. We're trading right now 2,691. Again, we had Tim Ord on uh, for the show and he went over his analysis at least of GDX, so some of the gold miners. Uh, of, of course, this has some relation with the gold price in general. You have the copper contract up about 0.69%, trading at 436, and then silver up about 0.48% at 3191. And of course, small caps finally getting some love here, and the Russell up about 1.61% on the futures there. Let's see anything else jumping out at me that's insane. Disney doing okay, closing up 2.69%. You have some of the banks doing all right. Let me see, still dynamics moving. I haven't looked at that recently at all. Wow, yeah. So you're really testing that ceiling there at 130. A little consolidation at the top there. You had some higher volume the past few days than you usually get. Kind of interesting. Uh, let's take a look. We're talking at Cisco before we went to the break. I'm gonna talk a lot more about them uh, tomorrow. Basically, it seems like City has a really good outlook on them, especially regarding uh, the realm of Ethernet, connecting these big GPU racks together. Uh, that's going to be fantastic for Cisco. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to be on tomorrow morning, live, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien. Then we have Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then I will be joining you again at 3 p.m. Take care, and we'll see you then.